So, the SummerSlam 1 went out without a hitch. I mean, we had a lot of anglers, we had like 122 guys, and it really was uh, amazing to kind of get back on that, that string of good weather. You know, we, we didn't have uh, great weather the year before for a lot of our events, so it was really good to have that. And let me tell you something, if I was going to pick a title for this season and for SummerSlam 1, it would be the Year of the Kings because we got so many kings, that tournament itself, SummerSlam 1, got over 700 pounds of fish in total, which is crazy. Another thing that was great about the SummerSlam 1 was once again, we have new winners. And Justin Ritchie, he killed it. He had a monster blackfin tuna. Total weight was like 41 pounds. And uh, he washed it down with a nice little king, but he had a monster tuna and you know, like I always say, it's great to see new winners on stage. And for the SummerSlam, lately, it's been like that. So everyone left happy after SummerSlam 1, you know. Just about everybody got fish. It was a real fishy day. The, the water was flat. It was beautiful. A great story is we had a young kid. You know, he ended up fighting a nice kingfish. And he was in the running for the ring. And, you know, it's great to see that. You know, a kid that young to go out there, kill it, have his dad right there, super proud of him. It just shows you that the future's bright for extreme kayak fishing. So the SummerSlam won, awesome event. So the SummerSlam 2, you know, we were really excited. Everyone was ready. And I'll tell you what, once again, we were lucky with the weather and, you know, the fishing gods were kind to us and it was a beautiful morning and this time we had anglers come from Australia, we had anglers come from Tennessee, the Carolinas, uh, New York, so it's really good to see the brand of extreme kayak fishing itself uh, have such a far reach you know, for these anglers to come all the way to Pompano Beach and fish this event. So kudos to them, and without them, we wouldn't be here today. So, you know, the SummerSlam 2 was awesome. Uh, once again, it was a little slower than the first one, but again, we had lots of kingfish. Obviously, it wasn't as many fish as part one, but it was still a really solid event with solid fish. Once again, lots of sailfish in the morning, but mostly kingfish. Uh, we didn't get our wahoo, unfortunately, but you know that that's you never know when that's gonna come, and when it does, it hits hard. The winner, Mark Peterson, he's a guy that's been fishing our tournaments for years, and it's really great to see someone like that who's consistent, always fishing it, always there, always at the kickoff parties, you know, always putting in his dues, and to finally come on top for Mark was awesome in itself so uh, he won with a total weight of like 27 pounds that was great to see mark on stage celebrating just just loving it so yeah it was great kudos to him so we ended the summer slam 2 with the ring ceremony and as most people know you know we have the winner of the past which is 2018 he gets presented his ring in the summer slam 2 and he also showcases the next winner, the guy who won this year, 2019. And let me tell you something, this guy, Sean Rolls, fished our tournament from the Sailfish Smackdown all the way to SummerSlam 2. And not sure if you guys know this, but we implemented the Sailfish Smackdown in the SummerSlam, where if an angler catches a sailfish, that equals 10 pounds towards your total weight for the ring. And Sean Rolls got second place in the Sailfish Smackdown. He got that 10 pounds, and that 10 pounds actually put him over the top for the ring, and he won the series. Uh, awesome story, local guy, and it's just great to see once again a new winner, a uh, local guy just on stage celebrating, having a great time. Greg Nolan, who won 2018, he presented him the ring, and he also showcased his ring on stage, which was an awesome sight to see. The ring was sponsored by Turbo USA and Railblazer. You know, I can't say enough about the sponsors. You know, without them, we wouldn't be here today. Sponsors like Railblazer, sponsors like Costa, Tuna Skin, Nautical Ventures, you know. And let me tell you something about Nautical, you know, they get on the beach, they have their guys helping us all day long uh, with the scales, you know, with helping pushing kayaks off if it's rough, 
pretty much everything and anything they're there to help us so you know kudos to all of our main sponsors and kudos to all our supporting sponsors you know Garmin really stepped up this year and it was great to see that I'm really excited about the future of extreme kayak fishing especially the summer slam series because we're getting to a point now where we're growing we're getting bigger we're getting better I can only see awesome stuff for the future of the summer slam